to all the learners directories out there. So uh, we are in the same series uh, today, which is regular expression. And within the same series, the formula which we'll be discussing today in detail is regular expression match and the find formula. These both are related to each other and uh, obviously we do have confusions that why we are using this formula and uh, if we have an alternative present uh, within Google spreadsheet. So we'll see how, uh, why we are using it and we'll see what are the benefits of using regular expression match and what are the actual cause of using the formula find. So let's start by changing the name of this spreadsheet which is regular expression match. Now, in order to judge uh, the benefit of both these formulas, let's pop up a demo table. Let's name it as column A and write down some uh, URLs. So the very first dummy URL is dummy blue dot com. Second one is maybe dummy slash blue dot com. The third one you can write as dummy dot com slash blue. So these are the three URLs which we have written. Now our purpose is to find out, uh, see we need to do two things here. F the very first thing is we need to find out if all these URLs have a particular word which is blue. And the second thing we need to find out within this spreadsheet is that all these URLs, if have the word blue, at what position within the particular words this letter or this word is actually starting. So for example, uh, if I would like to know that at what position the letter W is starting, so it is starting at position one. Similar is the case with blue. So let's see how we can find it out and what are the usage of it. So let's start from regular expression match. Regular expression match. Uh, the very first thing that you have to identify here is uh, that uh, which is the text where you need to identify. So in this particular case, it is this uh, uh, cell text. Now in the second expression, we have to identify what you are actually trying to search. We are trying to search here blue. So I'll write here blue. The actual result of this formula is either in true or false. So let's see if it's true. It's true. Let's write another formula and make sure that uh, it's not searching correctly as well. Let's eliminate the blue from here as well. I'll drag down the formula and see if it pops up false. Great. So see, now uh, the formula is actually working perfectly and if the word blue is available there it's showing me true and if it is what not available it's showing me false this particular formula or this expression can also be used uh, when you have a long list of content for example if you have a long list of urls or maybe if you have collected data within your organization and each and every employee has uh, written miss or mister before their names as a prefix and now you need to identify or confirm that all of the employees have actually written it. So this is a particular way or this is a perfect formula to identify. Now the second part of this uh, particular lecture is that we need to identify at what position this blue is starting within this uh, URL. So for this we need to write the formula find. Find and what we are actually searching for we are searching for blue. The find formula is case sensitive, so you need to make sure that uh, whatever you are searching is particularly mentioned in this formula. Now it is asking where I should search blue. You should search blue here. And at what position I should start from? You should start from position one. So let's see. So let's drag it down. As we do not have any blue value in the last uh, URL, so it's returning me an error. But in the three, as we have blue, it's uh, saying that the blue word is actually starting at position 10. So let's uh, count it manually just to make sure that it's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. 
So it's starting from uh, the position 10, same goes for 11 uh, and 15. So these are the two formulas and if you are collecting bulk data, if you are gathering a database within your organization, both these are pretty much helpful. Please do use these and make sure that uh, you provide your comments how this was helpful to you. Please like our YouTube channel and subscribe to it for further notifications and stay tuned. We'll be back with more videos. Thank you.